Hey everyone, what's up? How are you? I am Rachel and I'm the proud founder and creator of Siopa Seize Your Passion. And I do these live streams from our Facebook group, Seize Your Passion, every Friday afternoon, usually at 4 p.m. Today's at 4.30, um, as a way for me to share with you how oh, lessons of the week, insights, um, things I've been thinking about and focusing on, any aha moments I might have had um, as a way for you to um, think about what lessons you can learn, um, all about going out there and realizing your dreams and becoming your best self, which is what Seize Your Passion is about. Um, so I've been trying on and off every um, Friday something new, and I'm going to go with that again today. Um, sometimes I just kind of talk out loud with you guys and think out loud with no set script or anything like that, and sometimes um, I do something more along the lines of what I'm going to do today. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay. There is an inherent indisputable and indispensable tension in you. It is a tension that lies within all of us. It is the tension between what one has already achieved and what one ought to still accomplish or the gap between what one is and what one should become. That quote is from Viktor Frankl's most astounding book, Man's Search for Meaning, which I happen to currently be reading. Frankl goes on to explain that in order to achieve growth, fulfillment, happiness, and meaning in life, one must not avoid or deny or discharge of that tension at any cost but rather embrace it and allow that tension to drive him towards a call for potential meaning waiting to be fulfilled by him. And he goes on to say that every one of us, everyone has a specific and unique vocation or mission in life to carry out that demands, demands, demands fulfillment. So that tension in you between what you have already achieved and what you still can and aspire to and are meant to achieve and accomplish. And that gap in you between who you are today and who you can and want to and will become. That is the very essence of why you must, must, it demands fulfillment, of why you must realize your dreams and become your best self. Whatever those dreams may be and whoever that best self is for you. Again, each and every one of us has a specific and unique vocation or mission that demands fulfillment, a call for potential meaning waiting to be fulfilled by him. And too often we do our damnedest to deny or ignore or avoid or often replace that tension with false notions of success, achievement and power and we do this for a myriad of different reasons at different times depending on who we are and what our situation is but most often I think we do this because we're scared of failure we're scared that we won't succeed in fulfilling our calling our potential for meaning our mission we're scared that we won't realize our deepest and truest and most authentic dreams for ourselves, the ones that that very tension exists to drive us towards, that that very tension exists to demand that we fulfill it. And sometimes we avoid or deny or replace that tension with false notions 
because we convince ourselves and most often we do this even subconsciously but we convince ourselves that we're not worthy and that our dreams are not worth it you know we're not good enough it's too late it's too hard it's impossible we can't no 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 I'm here to tell you no I'm here to remind you because you know this that you are worthy, you are so worthy, and your dreams are 1,000% worth it because life is short and there are no do-overs and there is no other you. Said another way, again, in Frankel's words, live as if you were already living for the second time and you are about to act as wrongly as you did the first time. A big part of what that means for me is a reminder not to ignore that inherent, indisputable, indispensable tension that lies within each one of us, that lies within you. It's a reminder to listen to that tension, to heed it, and to allow it to drive us towards our call for potential meaning that demands our fulfillment to allow it to empower us to go out there and realize our dreams and become our best self. To remember to listen to that tension and to heed it and to allow it to empower us to go out there and seize your passion. That's it. So that was my um, inspiration for the week. Um, and um, you know, there's another quote in there from the book, Man's Search for Meaning, that I think is very relevant here and, and, and sort of drives the point home of everything I just said. You know, at one point he says, it's not about the general question of what the meaning of life is, right? It's about the specific question for you and how you create the meaning of your life what the meaning of your specific life is. That's the question you should be asking yourself. And that ties into everything I just spoke about and that tension that does lie within all of us of who we are and who we want to become and what we've achieved so far and what we still want to and aspire to and are meant to achieve that calling, that manifesting of our personal legend. I say it all the time that we were put on this earth. That is the meaning of our life and we each create that meaning. We each are, are called, it's demanded of us to fulfill that potential, to become who we were meant to be. Whatever, and it's again, unique and individual for each and every one, every one of us. Whatever those dreams are for you and who that best version of yourself is, your meaning in your life, your situation, who you are, your experiences, your gifts, your talents, to embrace that, to, to, to share it with the world and give it back to the people in your life. That's what makes the meaning in your life. I really believe that. So remember that. And a big part of that, as always, is doing more of what you love, embracing what you love, connecting with what you love, embracing and connecting with your inner passion and what your calling is through that passion and going out there and seizing your passion. And uh, sorry if you hear the uh, lawnmowers in the back. They're supposed to be gone by 4 o'clock, but they're not today. All right, everyone. Have, have an amazing weekend and do more of what you love. Be more of who you love. And uh, I'll see you next week. Ciao. Bye.